Ah, phone 10 is here. There's a lot of new stuff. We have a new region, a new story, new characters, new events of course, new cute little creatures, and new beasts, sons of Satan. We have also a new... a new... Uh, what is that? New Primo Gems, new memes, and new runs of naive players trying to get C6 on the new 4-star character by of course dumping all their savings into a legalized form of fueled gambling machine. Okay, if this isn't the left, I, I stop. But on top of all of this, like in 3.0, of course we have also a new Fischl buff, because Fischl really needed a new buff, because, <laughs> because she wasn't broken enough. I, I, I mean, look, 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 at, look at this. Look at this. These are numbers compatible with a, mm, with a signature. Like, what the... Any, anyway, yeah, Fischl really needed uh, an upgrade. I mean, Quicken wasn't strong enough. She really needed this. You probably already know that the this buff is around between 15 and 20%. Uh, it depends. <laughs> this, these numbers are disgusting. Anyway, we are here to talk about how the new artifact is way better than the previous alternatives, but we are here to talk about how much damage bonus you get from this artifact, like uh, 70%? This is a lot. And so, can an attack goblet be viable? Or maybe even better, because the most accessible free-to-play weapon for Fischl is Stringless, and it's not uncommon to have at least one copy, but many players have even Refinement 5. And so, yeah, I did some calcs. I'm not like a magician with Excel, but I can do some basic stuff. So, in this column, we have the performance with the damage goblet, using a Stringless R1 as 100%. Then we have the performance with a goblet and we have of course the goblet increase uh, just to visualize it better and as you can see the most common scenario is going to be this one most most players will have stringless and will use Kazwa with uh, stringless on official and as you can see using an attack goblet isn't that bad at all even if you have refinement 5 and Kazwa with 35% uh, damage bonus which is quite normal my, my Kazwa are uh, 34 but even with the maximum which is 30 this isn't like a huge difference and i guess you can also get more damage bonus from stuff like hakushi ring i don't remember how far you can get but the more damage bonus you get the more competitive the attack goblet becomes now let's stick to a 35 percent casual 32 maybe um, it depends, but as you can see the, the, the numbers don't change that much. Already with Stringless at Refinement 1 and Kazua, it's an attack goblet It is basically the same, but this is not aggravate. Ah, by the way, crit substat usually is around 2.3, an attack substat is 1.7%, so yeah, usually a useful substat is around 2%. Things do change in aggravate. And by the way, these are catching main standards with only a little difference. I'm calculating crit damage and crit rate together. It just to make the, um, some considerations and uh, calcs on a fly easier. If you get less crit, let's say you get um, like 7 substat less of crit and get those on attack. As you can see, the more attack you get, the lower of course the value of an attack goblet is but still at a baseline even with um, not perfectly optimal uh, stat distribution these numbers are are fairly close you are like two maybe three substats far from a damage bonus goblet which is honestly really good but this is outside of aggravit aggravit is an additive reaction it doesn't really care about uh, your total attack. It uses um, an additive damage bonus stat. So the value of an attack goblet drops down a lot in aggravate team. So let's revert to our optimal stats distribution. So to know how many aggravates you proc and how many A4 you proc, I checked out uh, GC Sim. This is really useful. It might not be 100% reliable, but it's pretty close and I'm using a caching team where you proc a lot of A4 and so a lot of aggravates. And if we check the if we check the rotation, this is you summon uh, odds two times every rotation uh, with burst and with skill and and so on. 
So, uh, this is over 4 rotations. If you look at the damage instances, we have official A4. Over 4 rotation, so 8 summons in total, we get almost 100 of A4 procs. Which is a lot. <laughs> in this team, official procs uh, her A4 a lot. Of course, thanks to Kichin. So, uh, basically, this is uh, 24 procs per rotation on average, but this is a C6 official, uh, let's mm, use a um, C0 official, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change that much. So before C6, Hots hits enemies 10 times, but twice because we, we summon Hots twice, the rotation, and I didn't account for the summon damage, uh, because uh, honestly I, I couldn't bother. Uh, technically, if you want to um, account for the summons too, the multiplier of the summon is higher than the Hots pew pew. But then there is DC2, that increases the multiplier a lot, and there's DC4, uh, honest, uh, let's say 23, but really it, it doesn't matter. The A4 procs, keep in mind that you can have more or less procs because um, the cooldown should be around half a second, but it can be more than half a second and it can be ping dependent, so but let's for good uh, this result that's a c6 official so more 20 21 let's say let's say 20 as you can see the numbers didn't change now if we add the aggravates for the aggravates we can take the a4 procs because they are all aggravates and we can add uh, eight procs from odds over two summons they should be right and this is what happens so as you can see it's still i mean it can still be viable. These are between 4, 3, 4, 5 substats. I mean, you might, you might, especially if you are a new player, it's very likely that you will get a better <laughs> attack goblet before a damage bonus goblet. But yeah, as you can see, the more aggravates, uh, the more you have stuff like that. If you have less aggravates, um, I don't know, maybe in some teams you proc less, and you also proc less A4, uh, maybe more something like this. Oh, this number doesn't make sense. But as you can see, I can change the number almost however I want, and more or less the, the numbers are this one. We can change Kazuha's uh, um, dash bonus, we can give him more, and it's slightly better, we can give him less, like 32, if you have 5 it's reasonable. But as you can see the numbers don't change that much, so you can take these numbers quite reliably. Even in Agravit this, this set completely demolishes anything else, it, 24 over a, a 2 pieces combination, the, the, this is disgusting. And, and I'm really happy for it, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I love Fischer and she didn't need this buff, but I'm glad she she had it. So yeah, that's it, and you can stop the video and take a look. Uh, in Aggravate you have to expect something like this, and ta-da! Uh, this is another spreadsheet with the um, Elemental Mastery Goblet instead of an Attack Percent Goblet. I mean, as you can see, uh, Elemental Mastery Goblet is really rare, so uh, this is really a niche situation, but yeah, as you can see, an Elemental Mastery Goblet is still viable. These are the differences you should expect with the various weapons. Again, we can give Kazuha more damage bonus or less damage bonus. We can have mm, a lot less crit let's say 11 less and we get like three more of attack and we get it more of elemental mastery of course if you have elemental mastery substats this happens keep that in mind but that's quite obvious of course the more elemental mastery you have the less is the value of an elemental mastery goblet over a damage bonus one so use a damage bonus goblet in a scenario like this if possible but with the previous assumption even an Elemental Mastery Goblet can be fine, it, de it depends, but it can work. Yeah, you have a lot of, a lot of weapons, so I, I'm very sure your Fischl is using at least, at least one of those. If you still want to make max though, um, Kenshin Optimizer, you can use this one. But it, this is really, really famous, and uh, you have also a guide here on Hoyo Lab on how to use it. 
and you also have the uh, tutorials from the creator of the um, of the project you can also use a damage calculator that maybe for uh, really fast calcs uh, maybe you, do you don't want to uh, upload your artifacts and so this page might be better for some really fast calcs uh, you don't want to bother too much anyway if you ever want to uh, oh my god <laughs> this scared me for a moment if you want to know more about uh, damage calcs and, ha and how to do them i noticed that um, the kitchen mains are doing a series exactly about how to do calcs check this out if you're interested this is this seems to be a really good seri uh, series check these videos Sh should be really interesting and i should check them out myself because i kind of suck at <laughs> a spreadsheet so th this might be useful for me too but yeah uh, that was it i hope it was useful and this is my first video like this i don't consider myself a theory crafter but i know some stuff about the formulas and so on so i mean i hope <laughs> i hope the numbers are all fine um, I maybe I leave the file in the description so you can check it yourself. This isn't a super optimized layout, but uh, I couldn't bother honestly. This is like a sort of template that I have. By the way, I was saying I'm not really used to do stuff like this, but it, sh it should be correct. I've checked these numbers a lot. This should be all correct. And I really enjoy it. Honestly, I, I, I might do it more often. Let me know if you... If you liked it, also let me know if my English is fine. And oh, I'm not really used to talking English. I listen to English a lot, I read it a lot, but I'm not used to talk with it. So yeah, I hope I didn't do many mistakes uh, and that uh, it was understandable. <laughs> By the way, have fun in Fontaine and I'll have fun too after editing this video. And I'm really excited for the new patch and I don't know, let me know. Uh, give me some feedback so can so that I can understand if you like stuff like this or not. Uh, how can I improve it? Uh, yeah, that stuff. See you soon.